Hello, this is John with Jesus' message for Saturday, March 19, 2022. Today he is again reminding us that there is only love. God, love, source, never punishes anyone. Here in the spiritual or non-physical realms, we are very much aware of your concerns and anxieties as chaos and confusion seem to be escalating on your beautiful planet Earth. Do make a point of starting your day by going deep within yourselves to your holy inner sanctuaries and then opening your hearts to love, which resides there permanently, waiting patiently, ready and most willing to embrace and comfort you when you choose and remember to invite it in. You are never unloved or without love. Such a state is impossible because love is your true nature, as you do know deep within yourselves, and it is always with you. It is you. However, it often seems to you that you are without it, living unloved and abandoned in an inhospitable world. And yet you do know that this is not the case, that it only appears that way because of your choice to enter the illusion and play the game of separation, a game which, while you are playing it, seems very real, very serious and very important. That was your intention when you collectively constructed it, and because you have the power and creative abilities of your dearly loving father, bestowed upon you at the moment of your creation, you were indeed able to construct an unreal environment that appears to be amazingly real. By establishing a daily routine of going deep within yourselves at whatever time you are most comfortable with, because starting the day that way does not work for everyone, and opening yourselves and inviting love to embrace you, you very effectively strengthen your deep inner knowing that the human life you are experiencing is unreal, as your sensitivity to feeling and being aware of the reality of the presence of love grows. Love is always present, because it is all, everywhere, now, eternally, without interruption, and it wants you to feel it and be aware of it and welcome it into your hearts so that you feel and delight in its loving and comforting embrace. However, many of you feel unworthy of being in its presence and have deeply ingrained beliefs that confirm this at a level below your level of conscious awareness. Therefore, it is essential that you remind yourselves daily that these damaging beliefs are faulty, are invalid. At first your egos will likely try to distract you by drawing your attention to the discomfort you feel when you tell yourself that you are worthy of God's love, and then by suggesting that humans can only be unworthy by drawing your attention to the harm you are collectively and constantly causing one another and the planet. And, of course, that is a valid observation of what is occurring in the game illusion in which you are experiencing separation, but that does not make it real. There is no separation. You are all eternally one, living in perfect and uninterruptible harmony with Source, and you are utterly and completely worthy of being in love's presence. Therefore, Dissolve those invalid beliefs by reminding yourselves whenever they arise that they are invalid, untrue, and then refusing to accept them. This may take a while because your beliefs tend to be very deeply ingrained. As they continue to arise, make the point again and again of reminding yourselves, repetition is essential, that they are invalid, untrue, and lies then disregard them and invite love to embrace you, which, of course, it will. Many of you are devoted to saints and holy people who you believed led almost flawless lives as they lovingly served God and others. Nevertheless, they too had strong beliefs about their inadequacy or unworthiness that often drove them to make totally uncalled for personal sacrifices because of the cultural and religious environments in which they grew up. 
Sin, shame and unworthiness entangled in the harshness of the Protestant work ethic made judgment a major aspect of life for many of them. Judging themselves negatively, observing and judging others negatively and sometimes condemning those others further encouraged them to lead austere lives following stringent, unloving and painful disciplines in attempts to prove to God that they truly loved him, would do anything for him, and to demonstrate to others what they believed God required of every human. However, God never wants any of his beloved children to make sacrifices to prove they love him. To do that would indeed be insane. No one wants another whom they truly love to prove their love by making sacrifices. Nor does God. Love is utterly and totally accepting of all unconditionally, because that is the nature of love. God is love, eternally loving his creation and all his sentient, conscious and utterly loving children. Love loves. Period. So those saints and holy ones were not pleasing God by treating themselves so unlovingly, and frequently deep within themselves, denied and hidden from their awareness, lay an unacknowledged bitterness and resentment, because life appeared to be treating them so unfairly, while sinners appeared to live freely enjoying life, suffering no punishment for their sinfulness. God, love, source, never punishes anyone. Punishment is unreal. How could the one who is love, and who creates perfect beings ever choose to punish any of them. Within the dream illusory state of form, it seems that great if evil is doing horrific damage and causing unconscionable suffering to enormous numbers of people. But you must keep reminding yourselves that your lives in form are unreal. Yes, they can be extremely painful, and you can suffer enormously during them, but that experience that you are undergoing as a human in form is a free will choice that each of you made prior to incarnating to magnificently assist in humanity's collective awakening process. There is no evil, there is no hell. They are just aspects of the unreality that you collectively established when you constructed an illusion in which to experience separation from your source. Love is all, all that is. Evil, sin and hell are just unreal aspects of that unreality you constructed to experience separation. And when you awaken, because they are unreal, they will be gone. When you awaken, as very soon you will, you will find yourselves fully conscious and fully aware of your real nature, and there will be nothing in the environment that is not in complete and eternal alignment with love. How could any kind of unreal and non-existent state be present in reality? You are one with love in eternal oneness or coexistence, living in glorious harmony now and forever as one. There is nothing existing, no other state that is the slightest or smallest bit different anywhere else, because there is nowhere else. Your loving brother, Jesus.